With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's the first game in the month of July. Steven Strasburg gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, he's having a very nice season so far. You look at that ERA in the low twos. Looking to continue that trend here in this one. And reined in one away. In the second spot tonight. Jason Hayward will stand in now. Jason he homered in the ball game last night. Yeah, that was a good one for him, and he needed it because, as you can see, his batting average on the year ain't pretty. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. These Phillies, Eric Karros, as they enter play here tonight, they come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. When you're looking at trying to get out of a funk like this, it always helps when you can hand the ball over to a veteran starter that's been through this before. And luckily for them, they're going to be able to do that here. And with that, let's take a look at how the fills will set up on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, when you talk about a position that requires arm strength, right field is one of those. This man, he has arm strength to die for. He could throw it from the wall. He could, he could probably throw it from the darn stands. I hope he gets a chance to show it off in this one. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Strasburg is ready, looking for the strikeout here on 0-2. Hit on the ground is short. Nunez is up with it. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. David Huff will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, guys, one of the areas where he's fared real well when he gets into jams, he's able to get out of it. He has not allowed a lot of hits when guys are out in scoring position. He'll hope to continue that here in this one. Myers is there to take it as Pence is retired on the first pitch he sees. Eduardo Nunez steps in, hoping to get things going at the plate. You can see it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Down the third baseline. In time to first, and there are two away. Third. Jackie Robinson line. will come Jackie forward now and Robinson. like so many of his Phillies teammates really thrives here at Citizens Bank Park as is reflected in his splits grounded down the third baseline on to first and can you believe it a three pitch Evan Gaddis will get his first shot now and he's seen that average climb a bit here recently thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. Out in front of it, strike one. Strasburg steps into the windup. 0 oh, 1 pitch on its way. And low, it's a ball and a strike. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. And this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on it. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Second baseman. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Nope, that's a ball. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Ball and that's too high. Ball two. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. You got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get your fastball to hit. And he finds the black here with a curveball. Two and one. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Pence. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting six. Andre Ethier will stand Andre in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's dead. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Justin Upton will stand in now. And as you can see, he enters play with 16 home runs on the season so far. 
Justin Upton. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Eric Karros, we look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. Well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball, 5-2 and two over their last seven. That last win gets them a step closer to the 500 mark. They can actually reach 500 if they can pull this one out. Alex Rodriguez will stand in now, and obviously one to be careful with, as you see there, currently leading the senior circuit in long balls. Now a ball lined to the left side. And he falls behind 0 and 2. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain 1 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Steve Pierce will stand in. A big power threat here, to say the least, currently third in home runs in the National League. And he had a half a dozen home runs in the previous month. Pretty decent power output. And Montero able to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Will Myers. We'll stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Swung on and hit in the air to left. One away here to begin the third. Batting eight. Miguel Montero will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. Chase Headley takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Center fielder, number 11. A two run home run for Chase Headley, number 10 for him on the year, as the Royals move out in front now, two to nothing. Fastball called for strike two. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Upton's under it. Two gone. Jason Hayward is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Michael Franco will come forward to begin the inning. 7-8-9 to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base run. It's been six up, six down to start the game. Bottom three in the batting order here as the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. On a big swing, and he crushes this ball deep. My goodness, a long home run. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. And the Phillies have cut the lead in half. It's now a two-to-one game. Very weakly on the ground. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Oh. 
Now another one hit deep to left. Gaddis ranging back. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. Batting ninth. Center fielder, Ichiro Suzuki. So a solo shot here to left center field. Sixth home run on the season for him as the Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. And Ichiro can't make contact as he falls behind 0-2 now. Well, I just don't think he was expecting that one, and it was the perfect time to just take a little off. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Ooh, he saws him off with that one, but foul. Well, you take a swing at a pitch like that, you're lucky that you only got sawed off. He's going to have to go find himself another piece of lumber. A little bouncer. On to first, and it's dropped. It'll stay right there, though, so there will be no advance. Hunter Pence will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. Not really a good at-bat there. Forget getting out, but he didn't see any pitches as well. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Out. The second for one. Back to first, and that'll take care of Pence. He's gone on the double play. Shortstop, Eduardo, Eduardo Nunez, Nunez stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Grounded to third. Gloved by Headley. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Cal Ripken is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Shortstop, Cal Ripken Jr. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Evan Gaddis in now. He went down looking at his first trip to the plate. And he was absolutely frozen with a good fastball, so let's see if he's a little more aggressive on that pitch this time. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Howie Kendrick stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. Fastball called for strike two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Jackie Robinson is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading Jackie off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward is camped under this one. One pitch, one away. Striding into the box, Justin Upton. He flew out in his last at bat. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Now batting. Designated hitter. Justin Upton with the solo home run. Number 17 for him on the season as the Phillies move out in front 3-2. to two. Oh, now A-Rod connects on one and sends it high in the air to deep left field. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. That fastball straightens him up a bit. 1-2 and two now. The ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Now batting. Steve Pierce steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. 
That's yeah, been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. And giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with that release point. He's all over the place. On the ground is short. This could be two. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Andre Ethier will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. Hit to first. Pierce is there, and he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. First baseman number four. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Will Myers is at the plate as he watches ball one. That's by him for strike one. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Chop foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. That Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks yeah. outside. Two and two now. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. That's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. The batter, catcher, Miguel Montero. This now is hit to second. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits. Michael Franco comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Lays off that time, and it's 1-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Wow, he's been like a cat with nine lives out there. Normally, when you give up three home runs, you're going to be in big trouble. But luckily, they've been solo homers, so it's kept them in the ballgame. Now a swing and a fly ball. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Hot shot to third. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Ichiro Suzuki, the hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game, so let's see if he can come through with that one right here. Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Kendrick's got it, and they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Hunter Pence will dig in. He's flown out and hit into a double play in two trips. First pitch coming. Here it is. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Here it comes on one and one. And a pitch out here, but Ichiro's not going anywhere yet. Drill down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. 
Phillies strand one, but they Chase Headley will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they found it rough Royals. sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded Chase. just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. Called strike 0 oh and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hard liner toward short, but this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. Now batting. A.J. Pollard will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. And we've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. KC down in order. Still up. Eduardo Nunez gets things started Leading here in the sixth belly. for the hometown the team. Action in that KC pen now as a right hander's begun to loosen up. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. On the ground to third. Headley's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting. Second Jackie Mason. Robinson will Jackie step in now. Robinson. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw gets him, two down. The left fielder, Justin Upton steps in, working on a one for two game so far. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front. A ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. And a good strike two pitch there as he has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And Myers will make the catch to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. They're up 3-2. to two. Leading off the inning, off Cal Ripken, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And this isn't the first guy that's been frozen by that pitch tonight. He's had a lot of guys shaking their heads so far. In under the hands with a fastball, it's 1-2. and two. Still 1-2 and two as he fouls it away. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Strasburg looks in, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Into the windup and the pitch. Left fielder. Evan, Evan Gaddis is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. He's now thrown a first pitch strike to about 80% of the batters he's faced, and that is that is just pounding the strike zone. He's pitching so well 
And this game's getting late. One ball. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. And this ball sits sharply toward the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. To two oh, balls inside. and two strikes now. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Tap fouled at home plate. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Looking for his 10th strikeout. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. Now, All right, folks. Second Montage first. alert. Here you get a look at his performance so far. Ten strikeouts for him in the ball game as he continues to just plow right, right through this lineup one after another. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Chop foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Steve Pierce will stand in for a third time now. His previous efforts left something to be desired as he popped out and bounced into a double play. Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Back goes Hayward at the track. A solo home run for Steven Pierce. Number 22 on the year. And it's given the Phillies a 4-2 lead. Jared Hughes will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. A lot of people think that pitch will burn straight down, but it will work back a little bit towards righties, like that one did right there. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Derek Norris. Derek Norris digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. Lifted in the air out to right. Hayward has a lead on it. Two down. The center fielder number 51. So two are gone Ichiro. now in the Philadelphia Suzuki. seventh. And in steps the dangerous Ichiro. High in the air. Carrying well out to deep center. Back goes Pollock to the track. He tracks it down. And that will end the inning. Andre Ethier will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. And he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Will Myers stands in as he looks at a called strike. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. And this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. Our line score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Miguel Montero is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And, and now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1-1. One and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Right, three called, and the inning is over. Royals go down one, two, three. Still. Hunter Pence digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. 
Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0-2. Here it comes, 0-2. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. The batter, Eduardo Nunez, the stands into the box. Eduardo he could really Eduardo use a Nunez. knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Pollock has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Jackie Robinson will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely one of the better hitters in this lineup, and that's why he's in the middle of the order. He just hasn't been able to get it going today. It happens. And not the greatest approach there as he offers it a pitch in the dirt, and it's even at one and one. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will... Back in the city of brotherly love with Major League Baseball on the show. Chase Headley is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. Chase Headley. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Strasburg gets the sign. Here's the 0-1. And he is cruising now. It's 0-2. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. Now this is up and now, in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. I think he took a little exception to that location. Yeah, and so would I if I was down there. If you want to work inside, that's fine. But once you get up over the letters and closer to my head, now we're talking about a different story. A.J. Pollock. A.J. Pollock stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Jason Hayward makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. In there at the knees, strike one. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it, even over 100 pitches. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Again, he sends it out of play. And now this relatively sparse crowd comes to their feet one final time. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. Chop down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to first, he'll take care of him, and the Phillies have ended their five-game losing streak as the ball game is over. Yeah, just two hits were all they could muster off of him. He was in complete control.